Hello friends, we are going to continue with our science unit and to get started, I wanted to remind you all what our questions are for this unit. So, our big unit question is, how do animals and plants survive? And for the first part, what we are investigating is how does spruce, the sea turtle, do what she needs to do to survive. So today we are all going to act as a scientist. Now you are all scientists and scientists like to learn more about the world to better understand it. And to do this, we will of course do some observing. To observe means to take a close look at something maybe using your five senses. What do you see? What does you feel? What do you smell, taste, or hear? Now for today's lesson, we are definitely gonna focus on our sight. What are we seeing? What do we notice? And we will be taking a closer look at the structure of a sea turtle. And the word structure means how the body is built. So what do we know about the different parts of the sea turtle? What parts of the sea turtle help the turtle to survive? So friends, to do so, I'm gonna share my screen and I wanna read to you a really cool article from a Time for Kids magazine that focuses on sea turtles. So let me go ahead and share this and I hope you can see this okay. So again, this is from the Time for Kids magazine, and this issue is called Under the Sea. And right here, I see a big sea turtle that looks an awful lot alike spruce. And right here, I can see a little caption. Because of course, when we're learning things from magazines or books and we see photographs, a lot of the times we have captions or labels. So here, this says, a green sea turtle swims over a coral reef. And the question we're going to be exploring today is, what makes sea turtles so special? Swim along with time for kids as we explore. Now, one thing I am going to let you know after we get through this magazine, we might have more information to add to our page about spruce. We might even have something else to add to the top that can talk a little bit more about spruce's structure. So let's dive in. Okay, so the first section says terrific turtles. Now, Sea turtles are ancient creatures. They have been around since the time of dinosaurs. There are seven species of turtles. The reptile spends most of its life underwater. Ready to learn more? Keep reading. So here, this section says a clear view. And there we see the turtle's head. A sea turtle's eyes are like swimming goggles. Cool. They help the turtle see clearly underwater. That's a really cool part of the turtle structure. Ooh, down here, smooth sailing. Sea turtles have smooth shells. This makes it easy for them to swim. I didn't know that. Do you see a pattern on this shell? I sure do. That's a beautiful shell. Oh, down here I see it says time to eat. I think we're going to learn about what sea turtles eat. Sea turtles don't have teeth, but their sharp jaws slice through the food. Sea turtles like to eat jellyfish, crabs, seagrass, and algae. 
This sea turtle is about to eat a jellyfish. Oof. And I like that we can see a clear picture of the sea turtle's beak. We remember they have a beak. All right, up here it says cycle of life. Female sea turtles lay eggs in the sand. The eggs hatch. Baby sea turtles are born. They head toward the ocean. So here we see the mama turtle has, she dug a big hole and she laid her eggs in. Now, when she's done laying her eggs, she uses her big fins kind of like shovels where she can move the sand back over the eggs to protect them. And then after some time, you get a very cute baby turtle that hatches out. Now this last part, let's see what this says. Did you know? So did you know plastic litter is harmful to sea turtles? Plastic bags can look like jellyfish. Turtles think they are food. Don't worry, a jellyfish is shown here. So this is not a plastic bag that is actually a jellyfish, but sometimes they can look like the, the plastic bags look like jellyfish. And when the turtles eat them, that is not good for their bodies. So friends, just a little recap. This is the end of what we're reading today. But we learned about their eyes, that their eyes are like goggles. How cool would that be if we didn't eat goggles in water? Their backs, they have a really smooth shell on their back to help them easily swim through the ocean. We also learned that they like to eat many different things, <clears throat> including jellyfish, crabs, seagrass, and algae. But do turtles have teeth? No, they just have their beak that has sharp jaws. <clears throat> and the last thing we learned was about turtles, how they have their eggs on land. The mama turtle digs a hole, lays her eggs and then covers the eggs up with sand. And once they hatch, we have all of these little turtles that then find their way to the ocean. So scientists, it's now time for us to think about what could we add to our picture? Now I saw some of you had some ideas. You already filled up your page. So if you need to use the page next to it or the page after it, you can continue to add your ideas. Now for me, I think I might say something about the goggly eyes, that their eyes are like goggles. Now here I have the word shell, but I might add the word smooth. Now, I don't know if I need to draw all the things that the turtle can eat, but I have all of this space down here where I can add some new ideas. So that's what Miss Manning is gonna do after this video. And I'm gonna share my work with you all tomorrow. But I would love to see what you can add to your image to help us remember a little bit more about sea turtles. Now again, just a little review. Today, we were acting as scientists. We were able to observe the turtle with our eyes by looking at the magazine and with our ears by listening to Miss Manning read what was happening. We looked at the structure of the turtle. We learned something new about its eyes, its shell, and also its mouth. And we're gonna be thinking, how do these features of the structure help the turtle to survive? And that is what we will talk about more tomorrow. Awesome work today, scientists. I can't wait to see how you add more information to your science journal.